Rylas? That's me, yes. I'm Rylas. Wow. You really showed up. He seemed thrilled. Honestly, it's nothing special. Nothing special? You saved the Moshai from the Ket. And not just the Moshai. So many people owe you their lives. Anyway, I should get to the point. Your raid on the Exaltation Facility sent the Ket scrambling. They're trying to get their operations in order. Our scouts report increased Ket movement through certain areas of Vold. Not military, though. Science and research vessels. So, something that could involve Exaltation, or the creation of a new Exaltation lab. Well, that's what I thought. Either way, Ket organizing means trouble. We don't have the tech to break into their bases. But someone has to stop them. You're talking to the right person. We always help our friends and allies. I knew you'd help. I'll send the nav point immediately. You seem troubled. Oh, Pathfinder Rider. I was just speaking a blessing for two of our young soldiers murdered by the cat. So many dead or disappeared, but these two cuts are the deepest yet. Did you know them well? They would be alive if they hadn't welcomed this death. I'm not sure I understand. These children were swayed by a new belief that's taken hold. A soul finds enlightenment through reincarnation, but some now think they can force this. They fling themselves at death, thinking they will be reborn stronger. Glory seekers, we call them. I have heard of this. No one I know but my country said it. Reincarnation is a nice thought, but to die for it? This has consequences. If you meet some of these glory seekers, do what you can to save them from death. That's all any of us can do. Thank you. You're the alien who saved the, the Moshai. How many Ket did you kill? I hope they screamed. I don't kill Ket because I enjoy it. It just has to be done. Well, yeah. Your people haven't been hunted and enslaved and exalted. It's different for us. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I know they call you Pathfinder. What do you need from us? Your priestess, Rushwar Lin, told me about you. I was just curious. Rushwar Lin is a blind old woman. She cowers with her blessings while the cat consume everything. She said you were throwing away your lives. Nothing is thrown away. It's not suicide. We train as hard as anyone in the Resistance. But when you don't fear dying, that's when there's everything to gain and nothing to lose. I can't wait for my turn. But all our blood still runs too hot. Tej is our hope now. Tej is going to take down a Ket station. We should hear the news soon. You want to hear that your friend's dead? That's kind of screwed up. We don't want it. We accept it. Just because you don't understand doesn't mean it's wrong. So where's this Ket station? You shouldn't interfere, Pathfinder. It's okay, Venge. As long as Ket die, it doesn't matter who's killing them. Here's the nav point. It was... interesting meeting you, Pathfinder. Skies be bright for you. I can't do this. Taking this station is impossible. Are you Tej? Whoa! Didn't see you there. Yeah. I'm Tej. How did you find me? Wait. Kolf and the others, right? Stars. Don't tell them you found me like this. I wasn't expecting all this security. The longer I sit here, the more I doubt everything. You're just being rational, seeing the reality of what you're doing here. Doubt and a shrinking heart prevents a blessed rebirth. And you won't remember your life before. And if you forget, you're just like everyone else. And it would have been better not to die at all. See, the more I think, the, the worse the thoughts get. I've got some experience with Cat. I can help with this, if that would... help. Would you? I think with all of us, we might actually take down this station. Live or die, I wouldn't leave here a failure. <laughs> Still alive! Oh.
And honestly, uh, I'm glad. Living and learning is a good way to grow stronger too. And I've never met anyone who had a blessed rebirth. And what if it's not real? <sighs> Start. If my friends heard this talk, they'd turn their backs. Vince especially. <sighs> oh, I'm almost afraid to go back. Talk to them. Explain where you're coming from. I'm sure they've had similar thoughts. You really think so? When I heard about Tand and Aaron dying, I tried to be happy, but I just couldn't. I don't want to lose the rest of my friends either. And if I feel that way, maybe they do too. Worth asking. Thanks, Pathfinder. You've given me a lot to think about. I I'll see what Kolf and the others have to say. Archon's not the Ket Supreme Leader. There's more like him, all over Andromeda. Gathering the genetic information of other races and transmitting it back. And making more Ket in the process. Sounds like the Ked are starting to question what the Archon's doing. If this continues, it might be good for all of us. So what do we do now? There is likely nothing to be done, but conflicts between factions seldom resolve quietly. Then we'll just have to keep an ear to the ground for now. With luck, something will happen. What happened here? I recognize him. Talvor. My readings point to that data pad as the connection device. We need to get this back to the resistance. The Ket have Angara slaves. We must free them. They could help That's us. All the Ket, and we. we're really free! Yep, get out of here. I, I don't know how to thank you. I can tell you what I know about this place, if, if that would help. That would help a lot. The Ket are trying to get into a room behind that wall. Some time ago, they detected something and focused their attention on getting to it. How? It looks like a solid ice. The Ket made us carry explosives here. They, they were preparing to blast through. You, you could do the same. Is there anything more I can tell you? If not, I... I ache to see the sky again. Why were you captured? We were taken during a raid on our village. They took us to a camp. Put us in groups. And then there was some kind of process. Blood-taking, examinations... I, I, I can't even remember all the tests. Eventually, they split us into groups. They said my group was flawed. Or m maybe... maybe it was unworthy. What exactly is behind that wall? I don't know. Something old. Something that excited the Ked. I thought I heard one of them ask if it was still, uh, functional. Perhaps some sort of machine. There's nothing else I need from you. Good luck. I hope you find what you're looking for. Pathfinder. I detect a strong, unidentified energy signature emanating from behind that wall. So there really is something back there. It also looks like we're going to have to blast our way through with the explosives around here. 
Think we have enough? I should say so. Here we go. Life support restored. It's beautiful, but what makes this place so interesting that the cat would fight for it? Greetings. How can I assist? What are you? An interface for the power grid of this city. I have been operational since the city was encased in ice. She is lying. This is an AI, and her origin appears to be Angara. The Angara are advanced, but I haven't heard anything about living AI. Our oral history doesn't describe one. This is amazing news. Go get the commander. So tell me, why lie? As you can see, I am currently vulnerable. What happened here? The Ket aliens talked as though I was evil and disgusting. They planned to take my knowledge and then kill me. I fought them off, but my energy stores are now drained. I am near death. Another lie. She is tied to a deep power grid. I beg you, have pity on me. Do not take me from here. I would rather die. I am tired. I am done. That's insane. You're an extraordinary find, a key to our past. Am I? You are not the ones who designed me. I do not trust you any more than I do the Ket aliens. Or these other aliens. I would rather die. Ryder, she has now blocked my attempts to scan her. Okay, this is... I'm open to suggestions here. Options? Thoughts? Thoughts? I'm taking her out of here. That's what... No! I am tired! I will not go! I am afraid! So afraid! And angry! Help! Help me! Please! I have a family! Am I angry for a life? Is mine really more valuable than his? You're way too valuable. I'm sorry. You really didn't have to do that. With my fate now in your hands, consider it... a warning. But your future is exciting. You can help the Angara recover what they lost to the Scourge. I do not know them. I owe them nothing. But your AI... I do understand him. Place me in his custody. Hmm, not sure that's a good idea. Ugh, must everything always be about borders? If, at this moment, Sam can best help this AI, then let's share her. Not gonna look good to the Angara, though. We know there's already anti-AI sentiment on the Nexus. I want to be with Sam. I have a consciousness. I have desires and feelings. Please, Pathfinder. She belongs to the Angara. Contact Commander Doziel and Ephra. At least the cat didn't get her. Okay, team. What's next? What you found at John Inc. was amazing, Pathfinder. We'll be able to excavate the city, reclaim our lost history. These recent victories against the cat have opened so many possibilities. Rebuilding, even expansion. There is a place for your people in this, if you desire. I'd like to extend a formal welcome. A steward of Tetrix. I appreciate your generosity. I am being practical. Many feel our peoples are stronger together than apart. You have had success with Remnant Vaults. There is one on Vault. I would suggest investigating it before you make plans to build a permanent outpost here. I won't disturb you further. It is no disturbance at all. May your luck build, Ryder. Lots of consoles. If the Keth maintain logs, we may be able to access them from here. Once we are in, I can perform a search to locate relevant data. I'm reading a temperature decrease. Environment check. Temperatures are within ex I wonder if there's more in the room below. Logs on Angara first contact isolated Pathfinder. 
Wow. It sounds like some of the first Angara that Ket found were coerced into working with them. We should show this to Ari Vescek. I've entered the destruction of the Ket on Vold into my records, so we remember. But did you find anything of note in the Ket databases? Anything about the start of their invasion? This might be of interest. This... this can't be right. It says some Angara volunteered information to the Ket. Is this how they found out about our abilities? Could this be why they exalt us? Can you blame them? In a fight for survival, ideals are often set aside. I'd like to think I would never fall that far. We're all heroes until called to prove it. I can't include this in our history, Rider. We can't be remembered like this. The conflict with the Kets will continue for years. We need hope, not crushing truths. You can't just act like this never happened or make up some other story. In Pathfinder, that's all history is. Fact and conjecture blended to form a narrative. How does the narrative that the Angara are perfect serve your purpose? I, I thought it would keep morale from flagging. But perhaps we need to understand our own frailty. Thank you, Ryder. You've given me much to think about. Now I must get to work. You have questions? We found Talvor out in the field. He didn't make it. I see. And that would explain why my comms didn't reach him. And why our data mines went dark. Yeah. His data pad was intact. It should have everything you need. That's Talvor. Always thinking ahead. Even at his end. He was a good man. Thank you, Pathfinder. I think I have enough info. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Pathfinder, air temperature has increased by 13 degrees since activating the vault. With a reduced cloud cover, solar energy will escalate dramatically. Our people can start a life here. Congratulations, Pathfinder. Make this sure is a Miyoki real challenge. To we don't need bad to need bad attitude. Hello again, Director. How close are you keeping tabs on me anyway? As close as you'd expect when you're inserting us into local concerns. Real talk, Pathfinder? 
I, as Governor Shai, is already up my ass about this outpost. If local Angara weren't on board, we'd have a problem. We are good, right? As much as you brought us, we can't afford to anger the neighbors. It's fine, Director. I ticked three or four of the necessary boxes. You enjoy testing me, but results are what matter, and I respect it. Vold helps. Cold as it is, it changes estimates in our favor. But the initiative needs you to find more. We're never really done, of course. Survival isn't something that just... ends. Time for the uncomfortable bit, Pathfinder. The flag waving. I'm supposed to summarize Vold? As much as anyone can. Vold was... is... a hard world. But it's not without life. It has history. People. It was worth fighting for. We're not walking into the unknown. We're joining something. And that is better than we hoped for. Recorded, Pathfinder. Addison out. I've located a suitable site for an HNS receiver, Pathfinder. Nav point is set. Okay, I got one for you. Here to Elodin, three hours, 42 minutes. Cute. <laughs> Don't tell me. Three hours, 18 minutes. Damn. So I get to meet the Pathfinder responsible for making this place happen. I'm Lizanna Telesso. Because of you, I have the best job in the galaxy. Which is... I'm an ice runner. I get to dodge the scourge and outrun the cat to bring water to the colonies. Doesn't get more exciting than that. Facing danger to make everyone's life better. No wonder you love it. When you put it that way. Your job isn't too different. How did you get into this job? I was a pilot for the Citadel fleet. Until I got bored and wanted something new. The initiative sounded right up my alley. I was one of the first to sign up. But how do you end up at this outpost? I asked. Marched into Priya's office and told her I was the best pilot she'd get. Said I didn't care if the outpost was mostly ex-alliance. I wanted in. I've been giving her trouble ever since. So you mine the ice as a water source. Smart. I fly ice blocks to the Nexus. Eos. Even made a run to Havarl for the Angara. Speaking of which, it sounded like there was trouble brewing when I landed. Me and Garo were on edge. Maybe you should check it out. I've flown through the Scourge before. It's not easy. That's half the fun. I get to change my routes to avoid it, like I'm outsmarting it. I've had a few close calls where it shorted my nav system. Once, I flew blind all the way to the Nexus. There's no way you pulled that off. There's a reason I was the Citadel's best pilot. Take it easy. No fun in that. How far did the drill techs have to dig? Already 30 meters deep, with no temperature change. This damn ice ball. Pathfinder, welcome to Scenic Vold. Hope you're enjoying the view. To the east, ice. To the west, more ice. At least you're not in cryo anymore, right? Look around. This is cryo. But I'll endure this frozen hell if it means completing my research. You know, it was even worse here before I activated the vault. So I heard. Glad I wasn't around for that. Makes me wonder what this place will look like in ten years, once the vault's had time to really work. Think it'll be up to your standards? My standards involve a beach and a healthy amount of sun, but we'll see. What are you researching? I'm studying ways we can harness geothermal activity as a source of energy. Believe it or not, below Vold's surface is a maze of heated geothermal vents. Keeps the planet from becoming completely inhospitable, but just barely. And you can use it as a power source. That's the hope. I hear the Angara are doing something similar, but they won't let me get close. So I'm determined to find the solution on my own. I'm good for now. Don't freeze to death out there. Pleasure to meet you, Pathfinder. Priya Blake, Captain of Outpost Taravuni. I'm glad you're here. I thought we'd have to deal with this on our own. What's the problem? Is it the cat? No. At least I don't think so. 
A few of my drill technicians went missing on a research expedition west of here. We've tried their comms, but get nothing but static. Whatever happens, they're not safe out there. We need to find them. We're not equipped for a full search, especially into dangerous territory. I don't know what to do. I was supposed to keep these people safe. I've already failed them. Don't lose hope. I'll find your people. Coming from you, I believe it. Their research log is in the lab. Maybe your AI can piece together the corrupted data and get a nav point. We're staking a claim, but what does the Initiative want with Vold? Look at the landscape. What do you see? Ice. A lot of ice. Water. Vold is a massive, endless source of it. We're proud to serve as the Initiative's first ice runners. We mine the ice here and haul it to colonies where water is scarce. Like Eos. Even the Nexus. The more people we wake from Cryo, the more resources we'll need. Our ice runners make sure water is never a problem. You picked a mouthful of a name for the outpost. It's Shalesh. Angaran language means forward together. It represents the close relationship we have with the Angara here on Vold. Glad to hear you're working together. This is their world. Because of you, they trusted us enough to give us a place in it. Now it's my job to cement that bond. We'll do our best to earn what they've given us. Were you in the Alliance too? I was an Alliance officer for a decade before I got sick of being a pawn in the Council's power plays. Heard about the initiative and figured it'd be a fresh start. A chance to make a real difference. You ever miss the Alliance? Given the chance, I'd make this choice all over again. But when I see the Resistance push against the Ket, makes me wonder if my days behind a gun aren't really over. I have to say, I'm surprised the Angara let us put an outpost here. A portion of the ice we mine goes to their blockade runners, who take it to Resistance bases all over the cluster. Water for their soldiers. It feels good to do our part against the Ket, however small. I should head out. Come back if you need anything. This crate contains a prototype for a handheld ice drill. So they're developing a portable drilling method. Smart. Sam, you get anything from this mess? Analyzing. It seems most of their data comes from a single nav point. Updating now. Here's hoping they're still okay. receiver down. I got some upgrades for your sidearm lying around. Interested? Good, thanks. If you're worried about the cost... I said I'm good. Don't be a shit, Costa. You don't have to like me to accept that I want to keep you alive. You live, I live. That's how it goes. Fair. Hook me up. Think you can get me a few extra converters? The Nexus sent a bunch to EOS last week, but I'll see what I can do. I owe you one. It's you. 
Bennett Kahaley reporting for duty. You need supplies? I'm your man. It's an honor to meet you, Pathfinder. This isn't the Alliance. No need for formalities. Just call me Ryder. Sorry. Old habits die hard when Captain Blake barks orders like a drill sergeant. Captain Blake? Not an official title, of course. She earned the nickname because she runs this place like an Alliance camp. But I've jabbered away for too long. You're here for supplies. Let's see what you have. We'll need extra heat lamps for the new civilians. Get an order to Kahele. Pathfinder, my scouts told me about your run-in with the Architect. I lost good people to that thing. Drill technicians who went there on an expedition. It's not easy losing people under your command. It's my fault. I shouldn't have let them search that far out. I failed them. At least I know the rest of my people are safe, thanks to you. I tracked down your missing drill techs. They... didn't make it. I'll send a team out to recover the bodies. They deserve a proper burial. And Pathfinder, thank you. I should head out. Come back if you need anything. Stars and skies light our way. Stars and skies light our way. She knows how to play a crowd. <laughs> She's the most high. Welcome home. I never thought I'd see it again. Without the resistance and the pathfinder, I wouldn't be here. We made a good team. We freed more than just the Moshai. And the Pathfinder killed a Ket leader. We have a lot to celebrate. I promised to lead the Pathfinder to Aya's vault. You're still recovering. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Not without our help. I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. Thank you, Moshai. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. We're happy to make room for you on the Nexus. We'll provide an embassy here as well. Our city is open to you. Join us. Well done, Jol. Report for reassignment. I need to stay with the Pathfinder. Jal has already become a valued member of my crew. Of course he has. I see the benefit. Request granted. I need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me. Trade? Trade. Trade. Are you asking or telling? I'm wondering. Do you exchange goods and services? How does your economy work? We pay for things with a currency called credits. Abstract wealth. The cat offered gifts. Made odd bargains, never traded. What are your credits worth? What can we do with them? You pay them to us for whatever we're selling. Now we cut open the heart. What do you offer? I don't know. Uh, what do you want? Your ship? Not for sale. Worth a try. Is there something else I can do for you? Yes. Call me Soka. I run cargo between Aya and other worlds. Good work. Good at it. You're here to help my people. Prove it. I need help. One of my suppliers off-world stopped checking in. Has things I need. There could be trouble. What makes you think I can help? You found Aya, maybe you find my supplier. Can't hurt to ask. You're one of few people here willing to give me a chance. I'll take it. You have a ship? 
I have my supplies in point. His name is Kelvo. Find him, his supplies. Come back and prove you're helpful. Then maybe we trade. Asked me to stay and coordinate with the city team to collect more precise readings. Vesteran? I was there when you landed. What did you get escorted through the city? Bet that was a sight. You were an unexpected outsider. Not really a laughing matter. I've never seen fruit like this before. What are these? Paripo. Sweet with a little bite. Sometimes, if I'm lucky, I have a few Kiloa or Elmok. Is fruit scarce here? In this form, yes. Very expensive. If you buy a Paripo from me, it means you have something to celebrate. It's a luxury, meant to be shared with friends and family. I'll get moving. Your credits are as good as anyone else's. Don't start any trouble and we're fine. I'll be the poster child for no trouble. Whatever that means, it'll do. I never thought I'd see the Moshai again, least of all thanks to you. Welcome to the Marketplace. I am Arbiter Renard. I enforce correct contact between merchants and customers, resolving any disputes. As the first outsider to enter the city, you are ignorant of our laws. We should change that. Who decides what happens to people who break the law? It depends on the grievance. I settle minor offenses right here. More serious ones require a tribunal. Where I'm from, the biggest trade law is don't cheat. Is it different here? I suspect we define cheating differently. What is unfair changes based on perspective. I don't want to cause any trouble. How do I learn your laws? I'll transmit a full readout. Familiarize yourself with the contents. Personal responsibility is a core foundation of our society. We expect it from everyone. Understood. Please visit my colleagues in the Governor's office and the Resistance headquarters. They'll teach you about our culture and what it means Invest to walk freely among protection. us. Your understanding is critical. It would be unfortunate if you accidentally violated our laws. Pathfinder? As you can imagine, your arrival raised concerns from highest people. It'll take a long time to trust strangers again. Which is why they want the Nexus to listen to them. We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. I'd appreciate if you'd take a look and forward their communications to your people. The Moshai will be waiting for you at the vault. While I'm here, maybe we can talk? Of course. I owe you that. When I first escorted you through our city, I wasn't sure it was the right thing. But you proved I was wrong to doubt. No. More than that, you didn't have to save the captives from exultation. I wonder if you realize what that meant to us. We're in this together. The Initiative wants to help. I want to believe it. You're so different from the Ket. What can I do for you? So what do you do for fun around here? The Tavitan is a popular spot for recreational activity. Right, but what do you do? Can't work all the time. Productivity is the best form of relaxation. It's also a great way to get stressed out. You sound like my brothers. All ten of them. Ten? And eight sisters. They're not allowed to bother me at work. Ten brothers and eight sisters. You have a big family. I've always thought of it as average. How many siblings do you have? A brother. Scott. What happened to the others? Our parents only had two children. Underachievers. That sounds... relaxing. <laughs> when my family gets together, the noise is like standing next to our largest waterfall. My mother says I became governor, so people would have to listen to me. Is she right? Always. What's it like being responsible for a whole planet? I suspect it's like being the Pathfinder. Some days it's a burden. Most of the time, I know I'm where I should be. How did you become governor? Do your people elect leaders by popular vote? If by vote, you mean argue loudly until one candidate remains? Then yes. I got here because I was willing to endure 
and fight for the obligations that come with my office. Is there time in your busy schedule to meet someone special? Everyone is special to me, in their own way. <laughs> Not what I meant. Oh, no. That isn't a priority right now. Someday, maybe. I sense tension between your government and the Resistance. Who's actually in charge? Ephra likes giving orders, right until the actual work of running a city starts. The Resistance is good at protecting us from the Ket, but our people need more. I've learned to indulge Ephra's need for control just often enough to maintain my own. I'm hoping you can help me get on Ephra's good side. If I knew how to do that, my job would be much simpler. Sometimes it seems like you two don't get along at all, and other times... He's a brilliant tactician and inspiring leader. We just disagree on what's best for our people. He believes secrecy and isolation keep us safe. What do you believe? We can't defeat the Ket alone, and neither can your initiative. I have a few questions about your culture. I'm happy to answer them. Don't take this the wrong way, but this isn't your only city, right? Not at all. Vold and Havarl both have several large population centers. Aya has numerous residential areas similar to this. Are these places open for visitors? In time, perhaps. I've noticed that you, Ephra, and Jal all speak with different accents. When the Scourge first struck, there were many Angaran worlds. They were separated for centuries. We developed divergent cultures and dialects. Ephra was born on Vold, and Jal is from Havarl. What about you? The Ket left my homeworld in ruins. Those who survived were forced to flee. We found a refuge on Aya. My family helped settle this world. Aya seems important to the Angara. Aya is paradise. This world is a gift. We created the Vassal so everyone could enjoy this place, if only for a short time. The Vassal? The time of change. Aya's resources are too limited for our entire population to live here. We each earn the privilege of spending a few years on Aya. When our time is up, we leave to make room for someone new. The cycle repeats throughout our lives. Will you have to leave? Someday. For now, Aya needs me. Your people revere the Moshai. What did she do to earn that? After the Scourge, our civilization was in ruins. Those who led the rebuilding were thinkers, experts, and inventors. The Moshai is the greatest scientific mind of our generation. She led us to a new age of technological innovation. When the Ket attacked, she studied their technology, learned their tactics. You owe your survival to her. We owe her everything. And we'll do anything to protect her. Thanks for your time. Ishare, Pathfinder. Exultation is just another word for how the Ket kill us. And if you're wrong? If we've been killing for them without realizing it? I saw a Ket up close when they attacked. It was nothing like our people. I've seen different types of Ket. They could be exalting multiple species. Anything they transform is an abomination. We have to destroy the creatures. Thank you for that. Insight, Pathfinder. The issue facing us is complex. Come, my friends. Deliberate with me. Rider. Real change in tone after that care facility. Half the Angara are thankful. Ah, Half are even more suspicious. Let's try not to make it worse. You to wait until Don't worry about me. The They're busy glaring at Cora for some reason. <laughs> Let me tell you about Rin. Helping the Moshai opened a lot of doors around here. Most Angara still keep their distance, though. Well, you are a bit of an eyesore. 
Speak for yourself. When I saw my first human, I couldn't understand how you keep your blood inside. Skin that thin. I'm so glad you're back. I'm in one piece this time. I was in one piece last time. A little dancer, but in one piece. You hit that wall so hard, you had amnesia for two weeks. Technically, I was still in one piece. We got word from Elodin. Good news? Well, we got another remnant piece. But nothing Angarin. Pay them for their efforts. It's not their fault. Oh, it's you. I watched you land. Hope you're not calling me it anymore. You heard that. I apologize. I, I was ignorant. What's your job around here? Aelin and I help Avela with her studies. I specialize in restoration. So you make relics look new. Do as I can. I'm not a miracle worker, no matter what Avela says. She'll praise Ellen and I to anyone who will listen. Never had a supervisor like that before. I'll leave you to it. Pathfinder, did you make it to Havara? I found the Sangaran helmet. Does it mean anything to you? This is a pre-Dark Age design. Do you see the black marks? The Scourge targeted this pilot's ship. Stars, it's perfectly preserved. I can almost imagine the pilot. He must have been so afraid. I've never seen one of these intact. Do you know how rare this is? I can't even begin to repay you. Why would the Scourge target that ship? It must have been a remnant vessel, or maybe there's remnant tech in the helmet itself. Can you imagine? Our ancestors using the remnant. You know, Pathfinder, this gets me thinking. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't even know that helmet existed. What if that's not all we're missing? There could be a wealth of history just out of our reach. So, I'm requesting your help again. Just tell me what I need to do. I've laid digs on every Angara in Homeworld. But there are places I've missed. Areas only a Pathfinder could go. There could be relics sitting untouched for centuries because no one could reach them. What I ask is this. If you ever find yourself in an area like that, you keep an eye out for artifacts. That's it? That's it. Keep me in mind as you explore, and bring me anything of interest. It'd help if I knew where to look. Any planet could contain something of potential value. My people traveled far. I know that doesn't answer your question, but just keep your eyes open for me. A few hidden relics coming up. I don't know what I'd do without you. I'll be here if you find anything. Good luck. Any insight you can give me on the remnant tech? We don't know much. To our understanding, it's always been here. Start. I would love to be the one to solve that mystery. You said the helmet was touched by the Scourge? What does that mean? I forget your people weren't around for... that. When the Scourge appeared, it targeted remnant ships, broke down their technology. With the drive cores disabled... The ships crashed. But that may not be all. The Scourge leaves a mark on whatever it touches. If it touched this helmet, perhaps the pilot was the target. There may be remnant tech inside the helmet. Or in the pilot. Storms. I hadn't even thought of that. Is it normal for someone as young as you to be in charge? I'm no younger than you. And you're a Pathfinder. I kinda inherited the job. So did I. I was apprenticed to the former curator. It was my job to bring him artifacts from other worlds. When he retired, I sort of fell into his position. Do you miss relic hunting? Some days, but mostly I'm happy to spend more time with each piece. Have you always been into history? Oh yes. When I was young, I would dig up shells and pretend they were ancient armor pieces. I've always had a big imagination. With only 14 siblings, I got lonely sometimes. 14? That's insane. Why? How many do you have? Just the one. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. This is quite a place. It feels like home to me. Sometimes I think I should move in here. But it's got a long way to go. Someday we'll fill it with relics of the past, each one telling a story. And my people will come here to learn. And to remember. You'll get there. With enough hard work, yes. I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. Ryder, you are the subject of a detailed scan by an Angara standing nearby. Maybe I should introduce myself. Hello there. I'm working. You scanned me pretty hard. 
That wasn't your way of saying welcome, stranger? I wanted to be discreet. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my homeworld. Why wouldn't I be interested? You could have asked. Fine. Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? You haven't even told me your name. Darnfra. Biological researcher. This is my home. Are you looking for something specific? We share many external similarities. I want to learn if that holds true internally. I have a scanner too. Seems only fair you let me go first. That's ridiculous. It's my final offer. You're bold, Pathfinder. All right, scan me. Angaran skeletal structure, muscular formation, and organs are optimal for thriving in harsh environments. As previously discovered, they can also generate and discharge bioelectrical energy. Well done. You're interesting. So are you. When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? I've spent long enough around your people to understand what family means to you. You only see the surface. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten? How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. You have questions? Be quick. How do you stay busy when you're not scanning strangers from another galaxy? I research and develop organic tactical equalizers. That sounds... scary. Only to those who threaten Aya. What else did your scan reveal about me? You're strong, tough. But much of Helios is inhospitable to human biology. You won't have it easy. Never have. How do humans stack up against your people in the Ket? You lack biological advantages, but your technology may offset that. It can't have been easy, holding out by yourselves against the Ket. Before them, it was the Scourge. Our entire civilization was almost wiped out. Centuries of rebuilding. It says a lot that you've made it this far. We'll go much further. Did you scan me on your own, or did someone put you up to it? Paran? Ephra? I'm a scientist. I want to understand anything outside my knowledge and experience. All that information you collect is for personal use? Of course not. Angara share knowledge. It's how we survive. Generating personal electrical fields must come in handy. It's just part of who we are. We don't think about it. But you can defend yourself, create light sources, replace a dead battery. Heck of a parlor trick. It's no trick. You've scanned others like me before. Where do you find them? We have other colonies. Some of your exiles found them. Did they make a good impression? No. Well, we exiled them for a reason. Thanks for your time. Yes, yes. Go. Your team to replace them. No, six and nine is too unstable. We'll be out of food in two days. At our moment, three. They have to fall back. Sounds like you've got trouble. Too many kit, not enough resistance. I have a team that's been in the field for six months without resupply. They won't come in. Say they're close to taking down a kit outpost, but I don't know. If they could do it alone, they would have by now. Send reinforcements. Getting the enemy in one place leaves us vulnerable elsewhere. But you're right. This is the hardest part of my job. Thank you for the advice, Pathfinder. That's quite a gift you sent. Insane AI. Real attention grabber. I couldn't leave it on Vold. Maybe it'll help someday. Have to talk it out of killing itself first. What do you need? What's your story, Ephra? You're not getting my personnel file. I'd just like to know who I'm working with. You want to know what it's like being me? I wake up every morning to fight a war. I send people to kill and die. If I'm lucky, there are more dead cat than resistance when I go to sleep. That's a hell of a burden. Enough personal discussion. I hope the initiative is making a good impression. 
The initiative. <laughs> Sounds so unthreatening, like a city planner meeting. That's kind of what it's meant to be. City planners don't walk around in battle armor with rifles on their shoulder. Depends on the city. My point is, we traveled through dark space to build something here. That's what invaders always say, at first. We're not invaders. Of course. You've been fighting Ket a long time. Any advice? Your war's different from ours. It's still a war, and we're not prepared for it. Wouldn't matter if you were. The Ket aren't a conventional enemy. Any idea where they came from? A, a homeworld somewhere? Each of our colonies heard a different story. I doubt any were true. They came from far away. That's all we know. Ever tried following a Ket ship to see where it goes? Of course we did. Wherever home is, they don't visit. Do the Ket have a favorite strategy? Something we can exploit? They switch tactics constantly. Almost capricious about it. Makes them unpredictable. They must have some weakness. They're vulnerable to brute force. That's enough. The Ket aren't mindless monsters. They must care about something. Slaves, resources, power. Same as any conqueror. You didn't see the exaltation process. Treat it like religion. They convert us against our will. That's not religion, it's genocide. Every culture has its purpose. Theirs is to take whatever they want. There's no official Angaran military, just the Resistance? Lost our fleets and armies decades ago. Ket mostly. The rest fell to... internal strife. We kept fighting, but our civilians were disorganized. Poorly supplied, leaderless. Decades of aimless defiance got us nowhere. I had to make the Resistance real. I've seen armed people in uniform. They're not Resistance? Aya police. Purely ornamental. Gives us the appearance of civilization. You don't think they're necessary? If things go bad, the Resistance will handle it. That's up to the Governor, isn't it? <laughs> How is the Resistance organized? Loosely. We operate in cells. Independent strike teams have better odds. If the Ket capture a cell, it doesn't compromise the rest. How'd you wind up in charge? Nothing to lose. My family was rounded up into a Ket slave camp. Last contact I had with any of them was ten years ago. They could still be alive. Didn't figure you for an optimist. What success have you had against the Ket? Enemy casualties are up 600% in three years. But that's just a number. Every time we destroy a facility, take out a warship, we give our people hope. And you're not fighting alone anymore. We'll see. What do you think of your governor? She governs Aya, not the Resistance. Way to avoid the question. Is there history between you? I can always count on Paran to offer a spirited argument. You respect her. She holds her own. Not many do. I'll let you get back to it. Good. Pathfinder, it to say appears to the Angara have installed the AI you found on Vault. Is there anything they can do to make you more comfortable? Deactivate me. Erase my files. Anything else? Trigger a volcanic eruption. Bury the city in ash and fire. Okay... It's possible keeping this AI intact was not terribly useful. Isn't this world better than Vold? No. You're safe from the Ket, surrounded by people who think you're amazing. Idiots. Have you connected with any of the scientists on Aya? Moshe Sefa? I met her. She's smart. She will be dead in a few years. Is that a prediction or a promise? A hope. Well, good luck. I hope you die. We are nearing the nav point provided by Soka Isov on Aya. Found them. Scans reveal these crates contain Angaran weapons. Oh, really now? Now this, I should have seen coming. 
Looks like Soka's supplier is dead. I detect traces of weapons fire, consistent with Cat's technology. Cat. Great. And here's the ambush. This seems to be Angaran, but I can't find any data on it. Maybe available know more about it. You think Kesh lied to you? Nah, she's not the type. I'm pretty sure none of us really knew what we were getting into. Bad years old. Nice word. Yeah, I learned it from Sid. She's into some weird old human shit. Good name for a drink. The Bamboozler. <laughs> I tried it. I have bad news. Your supplier, Keldo. The cat got him. Thank you for confirming how he died. You have his supplies? Keldo ran weapons for the Resistance. You were his contact. Good, good. Continue. Ephra asked you to test me. See how I'd handle myself. And I told him you were smart. The cat had your weapons. I got them back. Yes. All of them. And Keldo's killer's dead. This is good. You're honest, Pathfinder. Reliable. I'll tell Ephra you did well. How many more of these tests do I have to pass? We don't trust outsiders. But maybe we can work with you. Need to get the weapons where they belong, but... Keldo would want me to help you. I have things you can use, and I want to see your credits for myself. Trade? Think I'm getting the better deal. All you walk away with is a number. True. But who knows what that number will be worth someday. My inventory's open to you. Anything you need. I feel so out of place here. People keep staring at me. I can't tell if they're fascinated or afraid. Maybe they've all got huge crushes on you. <laughs> Ryder, that's a little far-fetched. I don't think so. Everyone wants a spiky girlfriend. <laughs> Sure, Ryder. Hello, Pathfinder. Any good news for me? I picked up this figure earlier. It might be Angaran. This... this is unfamiliar to me. It, it does resemble an Angara, but it looks so strange. It's clearly centuries old. Is it an artistic interpretation, or is this what we really look like? The implications. Pathfinder, you may have discovered our earliest artifact yet. Could it be a relic from another culture? The technique and material matches other Angaran relics, and you found it in one of our worlds. But perhaps the depiction isn't an Angara. It could be a deity of some sort. I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. I found that plant you wanted. Great. I'll give the recipe a try when I'm off duty. I've already got ideas for how to jazz it up. And I'll keep working on Mr. I don't like movie nights here to come along. I like them. Just not when Gil is glowering at me.